get some air around me. Welcome to East Sussex Bike Hub. And I'm heading off to JW Groombridges, hopefully to see my new bike again, which I won't be getting until sometime next week. I'm quite excited about it, but I'm quite reserved about it as well because I'm still wondering whether I'm doing the right thing. Should I get... I'm going to let the cat out of the bag here now. Anyway, it was a case of, do I get a new Benelli TRK702X? Or, do I get myself a new Royal Enfield? Well, you'll have to wait and see. We'll see you soon. We're not far away. I've watched many videos about the two bikes. I seem happy enough with it. But then I've been watching other videos about another bike which actually, although it stirs my soul, um, I don't honestly know whether it would be right for what I want it for, but see that's the dilemma. So friends of mine kind of got into the habit now of saying do you want to come we're going to go and do a journey to France or we're going to go up north do the NT500 um, and so on and so I'm thinking well the Benelli would be a problem But then would the Royal Enfield 500 be up to it? And I kind of just, it probably would, but I think I'd be holding everybody up. And I don't think when you're riding with a group of friends who've got BMW 1200s, Yamaha 750s, um, Triumph triples and so on and so forth I'm not sure it would really cut it <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of a little bit sort of apprehensive as much as I would uh, really like one of these but that would mean I'd have to keep the BMW Now that would be perfect for all that sort of work. But I was looking to sell it, you see, so that wouldn't really work. But then if I was to buy the Royal Enfield, then I could probably keep the BMW. It's all a little bit of a conundrum. Life is full of conundrums, decisions. And the thing is, I have this 500 bullet here. It's not a modern one, so it's, it's a little bit on the slow side. But it's great fun. But it's happy at 50. But I've kind of grown to love a single. Right. Well, that's our visit to Groombridges. I didn't do any videoing. I took a couple of pictures. Oh dear.
Right, we'll go home a different way. Oh, too warm in there. I went upstairs to see if I could find my bike, but it wasn't there. It was somewhere else, but I found it. So it's been through the workshop, been PDI'd. So yes, I have made a decision. But have I made the right decision? Anyway, <coughs> um, having, whoop, having seen it again, I'm quite happy with it. So we'll just take it on the chin and ride on. I should have cleaned that mirror really. Can't see a thing out of it. Well, I can, but I can't. That is a lovely day. I mean, it, the wind is nice and cool. Or the breeze. Just thought I'd go home the long way and just enjoy the ride. I've just been chatting to a guy on Marketplace actually and he's got a green chrome 500 classic and he's selling it for three four which I, th I think it's worth more than that but anyway I said to him why are you getting rid of it well I have to spend two and a half hours polishing it really I'm not really sure that's necessary, especially if you run a, a polishing cloth over it every now and again. But then obviously if you ride out in the bad weather, you are going to have to... Uh, you will have to uh, polish it. Now here's somebody who clearly didn't think he's ride through in a t-shirt. That's going to hurt. I don't know why the revs hang on this. I've cleaned the carbs out and uh, everything is free. And I'm not sure why it still does it. Anyway, we're going to go left here. And just enjoy the ride through the countryside. No need for thrash or thrill. I might have a little stop off somewhere. Just a nice little lane to go trundling down. I must be I must be getting old really because I have my days where I want to sort of get along a bit quicker but then I use the BMW if I want to do something like that. I always think this bike sounds a bit like a Chinook when, when it's in fifth and I'm doing about 35 or 40. Might be a little bit too fast. <laughs> but at night, when I'm travelling back from work, if I use it, it just echoes everywhere. I really must do a battery check on this because I'm not entirely convinced the battery is that great. And everybody travels so fast now, don't they? Because the cars are quicker, bikes are quicker, and there's just no time for anyone. Everybody wants to be getting everywhere so quickly. I would never have gotten into uh, Royal Enfields, actually, if it hadn't been for Norley, the Dutch travelling adventure rider. A bizarre set of circumstances really. I happened to find her on YouTube and just got a bit hooked really. And I loved the sound of her Himalayan at the time. 
and they were fairly new then and uh, wasn't something I could really afford <laughs> but um, I did buy one in the end under very strange circumstances <laughs> I got some money from the government and um, it was just enough to be able to buy one of these but this is my second one the first one I sold because I really fancied another bike and I really hadn't gotten to appreciate the uh, Enfield really and, I, and that was silly because that had electric start and everything and it never failed me and uh, I regret selling that and it's local to me as far as I'm aware anyway but I can't find it anywhere but um, I kind of put well I, <laughs> I bought this one and uh, well I swapped it if I'm honest but I did it as I was trying to help somebody out but I also wanted something like this and sadly he can't ride anymore um, he's a demon on the drums but he can't ride a bike but so I kind of owe it to him really, Andy Hobbs, to keep this, look after it and uh, just keep it going and enjoy it. I do enjoy it and I do videos and I know he watches them. So uh, hi Andy, it's all in good hands, it's all fine. I know I still keep asking you questions but it's on a need to know basis but it's all fine <laughs> anyway I think he's happy that it's where it is and uh, he knows that uh, I look after it and do what's needed I would have to be very uh, hard up to sell this because I made a friend out of buying the bike and uh, so there's you know an attachment to that right this is May Mayfield East Sussex I've now turned into that guy that rides around on an old bike <laughs> looking like the ghost rider when actually this is only a 2007 so it's not exactly that old anyway are you getting a feel for the village Very famous, nearly. Yeah, very famous pub there called the Middle House. Who repaired the rack on my bike? On this very bike, Raj. Yes. Yeah, it's quite affluent around here. Fair play. Anyway, I've left you hanging on the choice of the bikes. and uh, so you have to wait and then uh, the great reveal will happen next week I was going to wait until the first of the new registrations but I just didn't want to and the reason for that <laughs> It's because I got married on the 1st of September. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the reveal. <laughs> I should remember the date I got divorced more than the date I got married. 
Anyway, that's a distant memory and a memory well forgotten. <coughs> Does anybody know how to clean cylinder heads that have got sort of, that are kind of, I suppose, stained over the period of time? You know, just got onto reserve, just felt that holding back. Oh, I was going to stop, wasn't I? Oh, I was going to stop and go round the bike, wasn't I? We'll save that for another day. But if anybody knows how to clean the uh, the engines where they're looking a little bit old and unloved, I'd be interested to know. I'm not sure. I've tried brake cleaner, but I just don't know. It looks like fuel stain or it's not corrosion. I will stop and get a picture of it and I'll show Right, I'm going to do my picture now. It does shake a bit, doesn't it? Anyway, instead of doing a picture, I thought I'll just keep it rolling. But if you look, I'm not worried about that. I'd just like to know what I can do to clean all this. to make it look a little bit more clean. What's the other side like? The other side is pretty much similar. But do you see what I mean? So yeah. I mean it might even be that it's just um, petrol will do it. I don't know. Obviously not while it's running. Home we go. <laughs> and that's all from me. I'm going to wrap that up here now and keep you hanging about the bike. So thanks for joining me, uh, East Sussex Biker. In East Sussex. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like. Assuming you do like, and you'd like to subscribe. Bye.